Hi everybody. What I'm going to show you today is how you can make up a Google form that will collect your students' Gmail accounts. This could be a great way if you want to try and do some differentiation. You can make up some small groups. You can easily share and collaborate on Google Documents, your Google Calendar, and a lot more Google tools that will be coming out in the years to come. But it all starts with you collecting those emails. And then you can group them by your period, by their lexile, by their skill, basically whatever you have featured in that Google form. So the first thing we're going to do is go into Google Drive. And we are then going to create a new form. And I'm going to open up my drive right now and show you my screen. And here's my drive. Now notice I'm in the new version of the Google Drive because you see a red new. If you see the word create right here, that means you are in the old drive. In that case, you probably want to hit go to settings and you might see something that says experience the new drive. So we're on the same page and we'll go through the same process together. I'm going to go to new and you can't see Google Forms here, so I'm going to go to more and then Google Forms down below. In order to make a form shareable, you have to give it a unique name. So I'm going to give this name collect student emails. Okay, now we want to make sure that only Ori County school kids can view this. So I'm going to check that box. And very important, we're going to check the second box, which is going to collect their email. And finally, we don't want to have doubles and triples of the same kids, so we're going to check off this box. So for the first question, I'm going to ask, what is your first name? And the question type should be, a text and then we want to make it required and done. you don't want anybody to skip it my next question is going to be what is your last name and instead of starting from scratch I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to change the word first last and done. my next question I'm going to have is going to be a multiple choice and I'm going to ask, what block period do I have you? Here I would list probably first block, hit tab, second block, hit tab again, third block, and so on. And again, very importantly, make sure you check off required question. And done. There are some other questions in here that I can utilize for my data. Uh, maybe I could ask their comfort level, some skill. Maybe I, if they knew their Lexile, they could put it in here. I used to use a Google form for my first uh, student info sheet of the year. So you can always add in more text and more boxes. So, oh, and finally at the bottom, you can customize this message. You can have it say, you know, thank you for submitting. But just in case anybody hits the wrong answer, I finally want to check allow responders to edit after submitting. And then we're going to send the form. If you already have a Google Plus page, you can set it up there. But for the sake of argument, I'm going to copy this box by Command C. And then done. Perhaps I have an Emoto group set up and I want to send that link to my students on Emoto. So I log in Emoto. This would probably be the easiest way for them to access this because, or maybe you have Google Classroom set up. So I can just type in here, please fill this out. Hit the little chain on the bottom, and I'm going to Command V to paste it. Once you hit Tab on your keyboard, it's going to say Sign In, because that was the setting that I had to put in there that they had to have their Ori County Schools email set up. And finally, send it to your groups that it needs to go to, or all students who are having it, you have set up, and finally send. So what that means, the kids will receive this response and they'll fill it out. As you start to get all of them, everything will be compiled into a spreadsheet. If you notice here, no one has filled it out yet, but uh, I do have responses. So view responses, everything's broken up by those questions. For example, what I've done so far, I did this with my teachers at schools. 
and I had it collected, had to do their name, the room number, the school that they worked at. So what we are going to do next is we are going to import these names into our Gmail to make up our groups. There's two ways you could do it. The next part of the video I'm going to show you is how you can, uh, basically you can go to file and download this as a CSV, which you can import the whole thing, or we can copy and paste. So I'm going to open up a new tab, and I'm going to type in mail.google.com, or if you ever see your nine squares up there, your waffle, you can go to your mail that way. And I'm going to change the word mail to contacts. And I want to make up a new group. And if you go all the way down the bottom here, we have a new group on the left. I'm going to call it video test. Video test two. Thank God. I'm And once I pick on the group over here, I'm going to hit the head and I can paste them in there. So I'm going to go back to this group. And let's see if we can copy a couple now. Control C. And Susan Command B and Adam. So how do you get her? And there's all she my people. Don't, yeah, don't so to so to check out it. how we do the next part the of our video, which is where we're going to see if you can take a spreadsheet and import them in that way. And you have to 